Most people don't think about where their water comes from when they turn on a tap. But there are a lot of people doing hard work to make sure that water is always available and always safe to drink. My name is Christy Lawrenson and I'm a senior chemist with the East Bay Municipal Utility District in California. We provide clean, safe drinking water to 1.4 million people every day. Water has some substances in it that can be seen, tasted, or smelled, and others that cannot. Some of these substances are unsafe, while some are there to protect us. The government sets laws about which substances are allowed and which ones are not. As a chemist, I studied the properties of substances. I use this knowledge to test our water to make sure it's safe. A lot of work goes into keeping the water safe. Every day, water system inspectors collect samples from the different reservoirs, water treatment plants, and the distribution pipes that serve the community. And every day, our lab runs tests on these samples. Laboratory, this is Christy. You have a drinking water sample? Okay, so I will meet you in sample receiving. When I receive a sample delivery from the field, I usually make a visual observation of the sample and then schedule it for testing. You got some samples there? I do indeed. Uh, I called you about them this morning okay. and I just wanted to bring them in for you. This looks really clear. Is this drinking water? Yes. Okay. So why don't you fill out this paperwork for me? Okay. So we'll run the tests and I should have results for you in about two days. Ah, perfect. Just because a sample of water looks clear or has no smell doesn't mean that it's safe to drink. We need more supporting information to make that conclusion. That's where lab testing comes in. This is our lab and this is where we test water samples. One of the tests we do is for combined ammonia and chlorine. Chlorine and ammonia are substances that are added to the water to prevent bacterial growth. This test will allow me to gather information to determine how much combined chlorine and ammonia are in each sample. And a green color will develop if combined chlorine and ammonia are present. Now I wait and I observe to see if a green color develops. Now I can use my observations to determine how much combined chlorine and ammonia is in the samples. The public puts their trust in us every time they take a drink, wash their hands, or take a shower. We take that responsibility very seriously. We test our water 365 days a year, and we provide that information to the public. I'm proud to be part of keeping my family, my friends, and my community safe.